You know the Comptasy map, the thing that has all those pages, all those things you gotta learn? Well, it's being thrown away and it's being replaced by something called Comptasy map 2.0. CM2.0 is a totally new roadmap for CPS and it has a huge impact on the educational program. As of 2025, there will be no more CPs. The entire program is being gutted and is being replaced by a brand new educational program. No more CP, no more PERT, no more electives, no more PEP and no more PREP and no more knowledge supplement. Instead, we're going to get a lot of new stuff, things like diversity, equity, inclusiveness, indigenous views. Instead of technical and enabling competencies, you'll have to learn specific competencies, foundational, sub-foundational, and decision-making competencies. This has been confirmed by CPA Canada in their webinars. Although different learners could have different on-ramps, the model represents a unified program with all learners demonstrating the same competencies as outlined in the CPA Competency Map 2.0. Furthering the one program concept, the structure of PREP and PEP as currently defined also disappears. When it comes to program design, note 11 on page 30 of the new map specifies that all newly certified CPAs will have the same foundational common core. That means the new model will not include any electives that develop different areas of depth. Assessment could take various forms, informal, formal, formative, summative, individual and team-based, and would be right-sized throughout the program. It's important to note that assessment includes many forms beyond just examinations. So why is this happening? Well, CPA Canada thinks that you can use Google to answer technical questions, so what's the point of testing on all of this? Things like finance or MA calculations, it can be done through Excel anyways, so they want to stop testing you on this. Their goal is to move away from this kind of technical questions and instead give you situations where you can apply critical thinking skills. They won't have just cases during exams, no more MCQs at all. They also want to add some other ways of testing you like interviews, group projects, presentations, in addition to cases. Another interesting change is that they want to introduce micro-credentials. Micro-credentials means that you can earn a mini certificate as you advance through different levels of the new CPA program. For example, you can finish the first two levels of the program and get CPA level 2, kind of like the CFA, and you can add it to your resume. Then if you want to go all the way and become a CPA, you can choose to do so. Now there are a lot of question marks because they themselves don't know what the new program will look like. It may not even be 2025, it may take longer than that because it's a huge change. But as of now, 2025 is their target. What we know for sure is that PREP, PEP, PERT and CFE, as we know it, won't exist anymore. But what will the new program look like and when will it be released? We'll find out in a couple of years. Here are some tips for you. If you're a student who's planning to start a CPA program in the next couple of years or you're planning to write the CFE in 2025, don't worry about this. There'll be a mechanism for legacy students to complete the CPA program using the current CFE exam. So you won't be thrown into the new program midway. They'll keep you under the legacy path and give you a chance to pass with one final CFE until they transition you to the new program. If you're someone who has only CP left before you become a CPA and you're delaying it for whatever reason, you should get it done as soon as possible. Don't delay too much because you may be shifted into a new program and you have to learn everything from scratch again. Here's another tip. When there are big transitions like this, like when we went from UFIs to CFIs or when the new secure client software was installed, there were glitches and bugs. Try not to be the first wave of students who go through this new program. If you're thinking of starting the CPA program in 2025, maybe wait six months or a year if you can and let other students go through it. Once we get some data, some sample exams and see what the pass rate looks like, then you'll have something to refer to as you're studying. I'll keep you posted on this new program and keep uploading new videos as I get new information. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.